the town is about as picturesque and beautiful a place as you can imagine in New England. We are listed in the travel book of a thousand places to see before you die. Located in the mountains of southern Vermont, Grafton is a picture-perfect little village. Some say it even looks like a movie set. Many of its historic buildings have been restored by its residents. There's only around 600 of them and the Wyndham Foundation. The Wyndham Foundation's role really is truly unique in the way that it's just here to preserve the town. It started in 1963 by Dean Maddy, a financial investment banker from Princeton, New Jersey. He loved coming here. And when it was kind of crumbling, he figured he wanted to restore this. It was a very special place for him. He started by purchasing and revamping the Grafton Inn in 1965. Innkeeper Angela Comstock. The inn was built in 1790. It became an inn in 1801. It's one of the longest continuing operating inns in the country. Guests have included Nathaniel Hawthorne, Ulysses S. Grant, and Theodore Roosevelt. People come here, they sit on the porch, they relax, they hike the trails, they just take it all in. The Charming Inn has 45 rooms and three spots for dining, including the old tavern restaurant and the Phelps Barn Pub, where on this night, it's burger and a brew for $13. A lot of the community comes out and they get to see all the familiar faces. It's a routine for them every Thursday night. A stay at the Grafton Inn includes use of the Grafton Trails and Outdoor Center. The entire center has got about 2,000 acres. This time of year, it's all about disc golf and... We've got about 10 miles of hiking specific trails and then another 10 miles of mountain bike trails. Including single track mountain biking. Single track mountain bike riding would be your real kind of technical mountain bike. And this is what a lot of people come to Vermont to do and experience mountain biking. We have hand built mountain bike trails. So a lot of technical features. We've got rocks, roots, wooden features, bridges. That's what's drawing people here to ride on our trails specifically. No single track riding for me, but I did enjoy cruising along on my fat tire bike. Woo! Grafton Village Cheese was purchased by the Wyndham Foundation in 1967. Mm. We make cheese here five to six days a week. We bring milk in from a handful of local family farms and we focus most of our efforts and energy on cheddar. Aging anywhere from one to two days in the curd we make once a month to over three years. The company, which has two production facilities, one in Grafton, the other in Brattleboro, makes about 20 different cheeses, all handmade. Almost every year we win an award from some international or national competition. Most recently we've taken awards in England and a couple of competitions in Wisconsin as well. Vince Razzianelli invited me to sample a few cheeses. All were delish, but the maple smoked blend, wowzers. This is my well. new favorite. Yes, it pairs very well with the fruity and the meaty flavors in the cheese. I almost so feel like there's like a baconing taste to Exactly, this. yeah, we get that a lot. You're a regular cheese grater. <laughs> Locally, you can buy Grafton Village cheese at the general store, MKT Grafton. It's been a you know centerpiece of the town for um, 200 years now. So since this building has stood, it has been the town general store. June Lupiani and business partner Ali Hartman took over the business three years ago, bringing with them a modern spin. So we're more than just a grocery store. We do have breakfast and lunch served daily. We also have merchandise, t-shirts, as well as farmhouse pottery, Williston, Vermont, Vermont butcher blocks. We're known especially for our donuts. Townspeople love the donuts and visitors come from afar to have the donuts. This does not disappoint. MKT Grafton, the heart of this special village. We see this as a place for the community to come together and also a place for people who are visiting town to stop in and talk to townspeople. Grafton really stands alone, very quaint, very beautiful place to be. 